I'm Steve Ashby, I'm Chair of Border Studies in Archaeology. Learning outcomes to me are just a very particular way of expressing your specific intentions for, for a module or a program or a session if you want to do it to that level, which just make it very clear uh, what you're trying to achieve for a particular subject, what you want the students to achieve, um, and the level of understanding you want them to get from, a, from that, that subject, from that module or that, that program, um, so that you, you can you can plan in all sorts of different ways to make sure that, that, um, that, they, that everyone knows exactly what they're getting out of, out of a module. I think the, the module uh, learning outcomes help the design process in a number of ways. They, they allow you to really sort of relate different elements of your program for one thing. So if you're, if you're planning a new module, think about how that fits into the overall program is important. And if you have specific learning outcomes, you can see how those, those relate to the learning outcomes of the overall program. If you're planning a whole program, then you think about the module uh, outcomes when you're putting that together as well. And it means you have a, a more or less seamless sort of uh, um, sort of thread which runs all the way through the program, which is really important. It means that the students know where they're going with things. Um, it also allows you to, to make sure that your, um, the way that you teach the module ties up very closely with the way that you assess it so that the students understand why they're being taught in a particular way, why they're being assessed in a, a certain way. And you can make sure that those things match. And it also allows you to make connections between what you're trying to achieve within the department and how that might link to specific outcomes that you want in terms of meeting, meeting um, uh, benchmark statements and that sort of thing.